Hello YouTube. So I'm out here messing with this thing. Uh, went to uh, Wrenchman Machine Shop a little while ago here in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. And I managed to talk them out of a set of uh, crap uh, cylinder heads. One of them looks like somebody was practicing port and polish and got too deep into one of the valve pockets. And the other one has a crack from one end to the other. Both of them are GM, I think it's 882 castings, which aren't really all that great to begin with. So, yeah. but they were freebies, so that's awesome for me. Finally, give me an opportunity to see what the uh, intake and valve covers would look like on here together. Uh, so something that happens when you buy Chinesium stuff, which is that intake, I won't say it's a pro comp intake, which is the epitome of Chinesium and the valve covers, I think are from the same company. And I've run into an interference issue, which is the casting right here for the uh, intake runner. Sits a little bit proud of the mounting surface of the uh, valve covers, or excuse me, mounting surface for the valve covers to the cylinder heads. And then also the valve covers are a little bit wide all the way around. Which, you know, get what you pay for on that note. Won't be making that mistake again, but I've had these parts so long that they've by far exceeded their return policy. So there's no getting the money back on those unless I try to sell them. And I'm not about to do that to somebody else. But all in all, they look pretty good together. I actually like it. But it's just going to cost me a little more work in the long run. I also got this nice ITC billet uh, alternator bracket. Another Chinese water pump, which I don't plan on uh, using that at all. I actually got it from a friend of mine for a little bit of nothing in a trade. And that kind of gives me an idea how my components are going to work together. And then as soon as I get my oil pan back from... A friend of mine that works in a machine shop, he's doing a little welding on it for me because my welds are not pretty and I don't trust them enough to uh, be uh, watertight or oil tight. You know, uh, I'll be able to stick this engine back in. I'll throw the valve covers on it and take on it. Once I get it in, I don't want my uh, pretty parts to get damaged just in case something does happen. And figure out exactly how much of the firewall of this truck is going to have to be cut out to locate the engine where I want it. But this project's coming along real nice. Hmm. Anyway, see y'all next time. Oh yeah, and before y'all gig me on it, I know I've got a uh, serpentine belt style and pulley on my alternator. And a V-belt style on my crank. Uh, this is just an alternator that I had laying around. And I'm using it for mock-up purposes only. Yeah. It's just the parts that I have for now. I do plan on running V-belts all the way around. And this mandrel sticking out, I'm going to have a dry sump oil pump. Which is right here. Pretty sure it's a Barnes unit, but... I'm not 100% on that, and I've got a Peterson 36 tooth pulley on that, and I've got a few of my unions already mocked up on it. Let's see, there's a old power steering pump. I'm waiting for the bracket to come back from a machine shop. I'm having him water jet it, and then uh, do a little bit of welding on that to, to attach the two together. And the power steering pump and oil pump brackets are going to be all one unit attached to the face of the block on the driver's side of it. And then I'm going to use these two bolt holes here to locate that. And as soon as I get that back from the machine shop, it'll go on too. Make sure all my clearances are right. And I think that's a HDT pulley. It might even be a uh, Gilmer drive. I can't remember what type of belt that I'm gonna have to run but all in all I'm proud of my little mock-up setup right now I do plan on running a dark SHP uh, block which I do not have in my possession yet but you know that's one of the bigger dollar or higher dollar components that I intend on buying anyway I said I was out in the middle of this video but now it's over anyway catch y'all next time Bye.